on Boylston. See how he waited? He has a red arrow. Boylston and Dalton, basically where it starts. And it's going to weave you to the left here. Take, check it out. I want you to go left to get on that actual lane. Obviously, this car is coming. Don't just blow through it. Especially you see a New York plate. <clears throat> Watch out for them. So it's a full set off lane here. So far, not as nice as Tremont. It's definitely shut off. Like I said, I do the best I can with the camera, but it's bumpy. So, so far in this Boylston lane, it's not as nice as Tremont where it's like totally set off with new pavement material and everything. But it's definitely blocked off and segmented. Let's see how the rest of it looks. All right, so we're still on Boylston. You notice it's hugging the left side, left side. You got valet, deliveries. See how this is like separated from the road. I think you can keep going there because there's no road to the left side. It's only to the right, so the lane is completely out of the action. <sighs> Boylston and Exeter. See how far it takes us. Fully protected. Definitely protected and set off. It's smoother than Beacon Street, which is a disaster, but nowhere near as nice as Tremont. That's my assessment so far. But it's definitely set off and safe. <coughs> so we're at Boylston and Dartmouth. Big intersection, Copley, the library. guys there's a chipotle there i don't know they might be worth getting a lot of orders from Boylston and Berkeley. Green arrow here for the cars, but you're going straight, so heads up on that. Look for the pedestrian and the uh, regular traffic. It's not an Aussie. 
because you got a one-way road here at Berkeley <clears throat> and we're on a one-way Boylston Got green arrows. This one's a little tilted, you can barely see it. Still on Boylston, the new bike lane set off. Double parking, there's always. But look at this, it does edge around the T here. Just kind of sneaks around the T. And you can take it on.